Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Carmel Marceline and I'm so happy that you're here. In today's video, I thought we could dial it back a couple of notches and do something chill. So I bought a whole bunch of stuff from my Facebook plant groups as well as Amazon, all plant related, okay, okay? So I thought we could do a bit of an unboxing and a chit chat together. This will be filmed over multiple days because I cannot control the USPS delivery system. But you are gonna see some of the goodies that I got. Uh -oh. <laughs> Strategically placed, I've got a plant package here. I bought this from Plant Purge USA, that Facebook plant group. That plant group, to be honest with you, will be the end of me because I can find such great stuff at an affordable price. And I don't have to import anything because they're all based in the US. That is the situation I'm currently in. I've got, I believe, two skindapsis plants in here. So let's, let's just, let's open her up, shall we? Also, how are you all doing? It's actually Monday right now. The end of the work day, I just finished going to Solid Core, my strength training workout. Let's see what plant goodies I have. Here's the box. Yeah, okay. Ooh. This is, this is what's, what's inside. We are going to open the first one up. This is a Skindapsis Sparkling Borne Borneo, Borneo. Correct me down below if I'm mistaken. Woo! Feels like Christmas. Let's open it. Very interesting packing. What's fascinating is when you buy from all these different sellers, you can see how different folks package up their plants in case you are interested in selling them. I'm too afraid. I only do it locally. It has three leaves. I believe I paid $102 for this. Don't judge me, okay? We all have things we like in life, and this is one I like. So it's interesting. I, I was reading a book called Financial Feminist a couple of months ago. And one of the exercises in that book is to create a expense diary, essentially on the different purchases you make. So ideally you have three categories of things that you, that are of value to you that you make purchases. So for me, it's workouts because I like going to solid core and that is pretty pricey because I do that unlimited. The second thing is really good food. I love eating food that I do not make, <laughs> but that is not good for the wallet. So I do try and eat as much as I can at home. And the third thing is plants. Anything outside of that, you gotta be sus about or actually think, should I buy it? Well, this brings me joy. So I'm very glad I bought it. Okay. She also shipped this out on Saturday. So the fact that it came, it's shipping from Texas, I believe. Let's do that close up. There's a paper towel here. I'm gonna take it out. Look at the gorgeous root system. I'm gonna show you that. This is definitely ready to get potted up. And then here again is a close-up of the actual plant. You can see that it glimmers in the sunlight. It's a very beautiful silver. And then, this is another one that I'm super excited about. This is a variegated silver cloud. I first saw a variegated silver cloud, what was it? A couple of months ago, when I was thinking about importing from Thailand, and I saw it, but I was too scared to import, so I didn't. 
then someone here in the US has one. And I believe it was, a, I don't know how to open things. It was about $127. Again, don't look at me, okay? Don't judge me. We all have expensive habits or hobbies. She's very pretty. So this is a variegated silver cloud. I don't know if you can see some of the silvery hue. I guess you can in the sunlight, but it's got various minty shades of green. Otis, can you not? He's like, I don't know what to do here right now. Let's see how the roots are in this one, because this one is actually growing. Can you not? Otis really likes paper. Like He loves to rip paper, so he's eyeing that. Pretty hard right now. Okay, I'm gonna take this out of saran wrap. Hello, Otis. Greetings. Welcome to the party. I'm gonna take out Ooh, okay, okay, we're into this. It's got a lot of great roots that you can see over here. This is also gonna be ready to get planted. So that is part one of this rare plant unboxing. Plant tools that I purchased from Amazon. So I'll show you what I got, what they're supposedly doing or meant to do. Let's start with the Amazon first, and then we can get into the wish list plant that I purchased. Okay, what did I end up ordering? Let's take a look. Ah, don't judge me, but I got an electric sprayer because I, I will have to re-wet the sphagnum moss that I use for propagating or in any of my moss poles. And I don't know about you, definitely a first world problem, but having to go like that 20 bazillion times hurts my fingers. So I'm sure I have terrible grip strength, but that's okay. So I bought this one. It's, I'll show you, let me take it out. This is the container. You put it through like this. And then you just, ooh. Okay. It's a cordless sprayer. It, I think you can change the power of the nozzle here for a thicker spray and a more airy spray, I guess. But that would solve a lot of my problems because I end up letting a lot of my moss poles dry up and then I lose plants. Not exciting. Alrighty, next. This one I'm very excited about. I don't know if it'll actually work, but we'll see. So it is the smart Wi-Fi soil sensor with a smart socket hub. Apparently you put the sensor on the soil and it'll tell you the moisture level. Whoops. And then it comes with an app for you to detect how moist your, your soil is. This seems promising, but I'm, I'm not really sure how it does. I, I guess you have to stick this in all the way into the soil. This was about 50 or $60 and this thing was about 25. All right, now to the most exciting part, my wish list plant which just came in the mail today. I got it off of Facebook a 
Facebook plant group. And I won it in an auction, which I don't know if I've shared this with you all yet, but I have just started getting really into plant auctions because you can get really good plants for a fraction of the price. And also it's just so thrilling to be bidding against other people, which is not healthy, I don't think. There are probably a lot of underlying issues with that. But I literally, last Friday, I can't remember, sometime last week, there was this Scandapsis Apolucky that I talked about in my plant wish list, rare plants I donate my kidney for video, which you haven't, if you haven't watched, I'll link that up there for you. So I set my alarm. I was like, okay, you know, I'm gonna come back to this and bid on it because at that point in time, I think it was about $150. And mind you, one cutting of this plant is 300 plus. And that would mean shipping it all the way from Indonesia. So, ah, that was a great find. And there was no reserve. So there was no minimum that the auction had to go for in order for the seller to follow through on the auction. So I was doing my little thing and by the end of it, I was so nervous. I wasn't sure who was gonna win, what was gonna happen. And two minutes before the end time of the auction, I believe it was at 10 p.m. Eastern, and put my last bid for, I think it was $100 $85 for one plant leaf and someone else was also counter bidding and we were doing this little dance for a good two minutes and then someone else came in and I just kept refreshing 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 and honestly it could have been a crapshoot I could have not gotten it but they checked the timestamps and I was the very last bid because we were we were even bidding past the end time. I got this for $215. Technically, the auction had an apple lucky cutting that was, oh, she's so sweet. It had a root, like it was rooted. And I got a message from the seller two days ago being like, oh my gosh, I cannot find the root. It disappeared in my propagation box. And if you propagate a lot of things, you know the struggle. But I literally told her it's fine because skindapsis are really easy to propagate, so I'm not worried. This is the opening. I also only paid $12 for shipping from California to New York. That's the back, which you can see how beautiful the variegation is on the back of the leaf. It's got gorgeous variegation. It looks almost like a neon or a highlighter yellow. Thanks for joining today's video. I hope you thoroughly lived vicariously through me and got excited by all these little planties. I know I'm very excited by them. So I'll keep you posted on each of these things if they end up being resourceful. And with that, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Please hit that like button. It, it will help my channel and the algorithm and comment with what thing you're most excited about from today's video. Subscribe, join the family, ring that bell, all of the above. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Until then, bye.